Good morning, modern steaders. Three degrees below zero Fahrenheit this morning. Brr. You got your new hat just in time. Yeah. Looks good. Whoever sent that, thank you. you gotta keep your ears nice and warm, huh? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a chilly one today. Oh, luckily we don't have to wait very long for the school bus, huh, Libby's? Mm. There it is. I hope it's warmed up. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Stay warm. All right, here we go. We got our nice hot water for the animals. Good morning, guys and gals. Now we know that using hot water makes it last longer and that it stays the thawed longer than cold water. We did an experiment yesterday testing to see what water freezes first, hot water or cold water. I'll put a link to that video right here. You might be surprised by all the results. See if she'll start. Look at that beautiful sky back there. That is gorgeous. When it's this cold out, you gotta let your cars warm up for like 15, 20 minutes if you wanna have any warm air blowing on you when you get into the ice box. Oh, you're silly. Yeah, Your car's warm enough, you don't need gloves. I'm it's cold out. It's been running for about 20 minutes. All right, you all should right. be good. Stay warm. Love you. Love you. Have a good day at work. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Hope you girls stayed warm last night. Good morning. Got a frosty waterer. Swap out buckets for you. You got frost on your mustache there, Willow. You got frost. I know, you want your food, you want to eat. You gotta get out of my way so I can get to your dish. So I can get to your dish. Being the winter months and they're not foraging and getting all the minerals and everything they need from browse, I'm making sure every time I feed her for milking, I put in some milkmaid herbs. Get my fingertips nice and warm for her. Huh, Willow? Got some warm wipes and some warm hands. Keep my other hand in my pocket so if I need it, it'll be warm. She saves the spot with all the herbs on it for last. You're like a kid, you don't like to eat your vitamins. You wanna eat your dessert first, huh Willow? I'm gonna have to bring down some more hay today. Drank quite a bit of that warm water already. That's some good water, huh girls? Missed. There you go. 
how to come in and get the chickens warm water, their feed. You ready to go out, Pluto? Figaro, you want to go out too? Look at the squeak of the walk. You know it's cold when the snow's making that noise. I need a warm inside project today, and I think I got just the project for that. Well, most of it will be inside work. You gotta do some of it outside. Did you girls survive the freezing temps? Looks like you did. With the shortest day of the year coming, they have slowed up a little bit more on laying their eggs. December 20th is the shortest day of the year. Then after that, we start gaining, I don't know if it's a minute a day or not, but we start gaining daylight every day, <laughs> which I'm looking forward to that. Once that day comes, we should start seeing an increase on our eggs a little bit. It's not going to be overnight. It's going to be nice to be getting some more eggs and it's going to be really nice to be gaining more daylight. It's one of the worst parts of winter, I think, is the shorter daylight season. Let's go inside, warm up by the fire for a few minutes, and then we can work on our next project. You ready to go in Pluto? Wow, I got some serious winter hat head going on right now. Kind of look like Kramer. <laughs> look at that, I better put my hat back on. If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that I love to cook. One of the reasons we have our homestead is so we can raise the best food possible for our family. We're not to the point where we're raising all the food that we want to be, but it's a work in progress and we're getting there. I love to cook and I'm also a tool guy. We like using wooden or bamboo spatulas. And these spatulas are all right. This one, eh, it's got a nice design to it. I'm just not in love with it. This one's bamboo and it's very flat. This one's kind of thin in the handle. And it doesn't have, you can't really clean the dish up with it. So I'm looking today to make my own spatula. We're gonna make a spatula today from, this summer we traded some new laying hens, pullets for some rough sawn cherry, and I've been waiting for projects to use this wood. Well, let's make a spatula out of some of this rough sawn cherry. I'm gonna cut this piece off right here, and we'll see what we can do. Perfect. One of my main goals out of this project is to get better with making wooden utensils. I'd like to make some wooden spoons. But the big one I want to make is a wooden ladle. The only thing we can find for ladles that we like are these plastic ones. And it'd be nice to have a nice wooden one so we can get rid of that. Oops. Better not use that for dinner tonight. I'm gonna mark 12 and a half. Yeah, let's go 12 and a half inches long. I made a template. This is the shape I'm going for. Once I cut it out, it'll make more sense. Now it's not looking the prettiest, but we're gonna solve that. It reminds me of the look of a paintbrush right now. Uh-oh. 
I will say this little Delta Bansa didn't enjoy doing that project. It was definitely a workout for this little guy. It's a Delta Shopmaster model BS100. To be honest with you, I don't know how long ago I got this and what project I got it for, but it came in handy today. This next part's not going to be as enjoyable, but I always tell myself, where well, there's a will, there's a way. It's warmed up outside. Instead of being three below, we're two above. Let's get ready to go outside. We're going to do some sanding. I don't want to do that in my basement. I'm going to make a huge mess. Let's put some more wood in the fire so we come back in. At least we know the basement will be nice and warm. I got my belt sander rigged up on a stand with a clamp to hold it in place. I got 40 grit sandpaper on it. And we're gonna shape our spatulas now. If I sound funny, it's cause I got my dusk mask on. What it looked like before, now after. Still not done yet. Starting with 80 grit on our orbital sander. Not gonna lie, Whew, it's nice to be back inside. A little brisk up there this morning. <sighs> How's the hair look? <laughs> Not any better. I'm gonna put a couple more logs on that fire. Pluto's got the right idea. So I'm going to take some 180 grit now and I'm going to hand sand and ease all the edges on the utensils. To finish the wood spoons, I'm using mineral oil. One of the things I really like about cherry is when you put oil on it and finish it, it just changes color and pops. And over time, it'll get an even more deeper and richer red. It looked like before. Oh, that's just beautiful. I'm doing it on a cutting board because my cutting boards I oil with mineral oil also. So this way if I have any leftover, I'll just rub it onto the cutting board.
I'm sticking them in the bag. This way they can stay wet and the oil can absorb in for a little while. I don't gotta worry about the oil getting all over the countertops. You know it's pretty bad when you go, oh man, it's warm out. And then I'm thinking, it's 22, but it was three below. It feels nice, don't it? You got like a seat. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Maybe. I'll tell you what to go back in. Now you want to go in, mister? <laughs> Think I can pull you? <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lighter than the firewood. What? Easy and fun way to get Olivia and the hay down the hill. <laughs> don't be scared. We're, pro we're professionals. <laughs> Was that fun? Yeah. Come on, goats. <laughs> ah! No! Hey. Willow! Quick! Ah! <laughs> we lost two goats. Who lost two goats? Okay, come on, Willow! Let's go! Come on! Get in here! There you go. Good recovery. What do you think you're doing on the hay bale there, Miss Willow? Huh? They're all eating off of it, too. They're all crazy. When we go back in, you want to make some brownies? Yeah! 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 yeah. Want to see the new spatulas I made? Yeah. They're all a little different. And I bet you that one will fit your hand better, huh? This one? Yeah. Yeah. You got a nice narrow, thin mm -hmm. handle. Yeah, this one's too thick. And these are thicker for like grown-up hands. Yeah. Than kid hands. Came out pretty good. Mm-hmm. They're all a little different. Like, yeah, that one's thicker than that one. And yep. that one's a little bit longer than that one. We can each have our own. Mm -hmm. This is mine. <laughs> Wanna add the sugar in the bowl? The flour. And we get a half a cup of Cow powder. No, it's a little bit different than cocoa powder. It's like cocoa powder, but healthier. Mm. Hold on, you have to be huh? careful. Okay, that's good. Do you want to mix all the dry ingredients up with one of the new spatulas? Yeah. Keep everything in the bowl. I tried it. <laughs> One tablespoon avocado oil. Put it up in oven. Half a cup of melted butter. Looks good. Yeah. Can I want the spatula? Yeah. Yes. Don't get on your hat. Okay. I don't know how to get up there, but okay. How is it?
These are all for me? No. They're all for you. Food. <laughs> Hanging out by the wood stove, staying warm. Oh, I just find it so fascinating when you find out how something is made. Who would have thought that a wooden spatula with a curve in it could be made from a piece of wood that's seven eighths of an inch thick? I mean, and then it came from a tree. Think about the whole process. It was a dreamer who came up with this stuff. Most, I shouldn't say most, everything we have around our house is something that somebody was inspired to make that they daydreamed about. That's just so encouraging to me that we need to dream. We need to daydream. We just need to get inspired. We have to have passion. And then maybe someday we'll figure out how to make something for the first time that nobody else has ever done. Like a wooden spatula. Can you imagine the first guy who made this? He must have been like, ha ha, look at that. A wooden utensil from a tree limb. We need to keep dreaming and thinking about where we can be in one year, five years, ten years, next week. If we just keep getting motivated, staying positive, thinking for the future, who knows what we can make. <sighs> Thanks guys for watching and coming along on our journey with us. We love you and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.